Can you guys see that? Hang on. Can you see that? Loka's making biscuits over here, man. Yeah, look at him go. I don't know if you can see him or not. Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Now, everything should be fine with this video. I've checked my mic audio. I've checked the, the camera's in focus. I think it's in focus. Everything should be okay now. So do not worry. It's all good. Today, I thought we could look at some more Discord submissions. But before we get into that, if you're a fan of spooky videos, scary content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like rating. You can always change your mind later as it's the majority of my content. We're going to start off with Musk Maz, which is a Mr. Manticore video. And this was submitted by Baller Dry. Thank you for the submission. Okay, here we go. So it's three minutes long. Mr. Manticore, let's go. Here he is, the man. The man, the myth, the legend. Look at him. Look at that the head. Musk steps on Mars. Musk Mars Mine, the largest American monument. Oh god, they're putting monuments on other freaking planets now. Why does he look like he's been stung by multiple bees there? Martian glass. Oh shit, has he been using the freaking um, Giza glass? Are those the floating meatballs? Oh my god! Who did this soundtrack? You can now write by hand on Twitter. <laughs> what? Okay, so for those unaware, let me just quickly break this down. Giza glass is a sort of um, material, I guess. You can slice off parts of your body, but it won't like, it will dismember it, but you'll still be able to control it. And I believe they used them in uh, World War II, supposedly, to power some ships or something like that. But I think you need some kind of um, vinegar to make sure the head doesn't swell or something like that. I'm not sure what the... It sounds like a fever dream now that I'm saying it out loud. And it basically is, but yeah. Wow. That's not nice. <laughs> Mr. M Musk, you're doing God's work. Keep it up. Of course. Okay. Thank you. Elon Musk, I hope you rot in hell. Okay. I'm on Mars, lol. That would literally be how... Is that... Is that a pyramid? On Mars? Let's nuke some ice caps. All right, guys. Serious question. Would you go to Mars... Would you go to Mars if, like, there's, like... If people said to you, oh, there's life over there now, you know, there's there's um, habitats over there, would you live there? I don't think I would. It, it, it just looks horrible. I think instead of moving to other planets, we should probably just try and take care of the planet that we're on. I mean, it's good to, like, you know, move civilization to other planets to maybe keep humanity alive. But is it a good idea to keep humanity alive? I don't think so. We do not know Mars. Before. There was a pyramid on Mars. After. Oh, Scheiser. So hang on, does this mean that Whatever the creatures are, like the Horned Serpent, for example, is now on multi-planets like Mars. Or did Elon bring something to Mars? Jeez. This is mad. I love the soundtrack in this one. It's really good. Looks like a... It reminds me of um, uh, This Place Is Not Happy, the soundtrack on that. Really good. What is happening? 
The Martian Serpent. Okay. Wow. So now not only is there exits the glass mine like a burst intestine falling towards Earth. Oh dear, well that's not good. There's a very specific trajectory right there. Okay, so now there's literally an alien serpent making its way to Earth. Fantastic stuff. I like the sound of this. Amazing. That was Mr. Man's Court. Really liked the soundtrack in that one and the uh, the visuals. They were really, really good. Music by Andrew Wilson. Okay, well, check that guy out. Next on the list, guys, we have a video called It Takes the Children, The Foundation Files by The Raging Wizard. I believe uh, multiple people submitted this one, but uh, the, the one that I see here is fucked.com. I don't know if that's an actual website. Don't, don't go there. Okay, dot as in D-O-T. Issued 13th of September, 1975. Broadcasted in 2020. The foundation is compromised. I just got a lead, so I'm going to investigate this myself. Becky. Becky with an I. Here we go. Tape three. Hang on a sec. How this is an emergency alert for all located in buffer and non-buffer zone locations. You are part of the 60% of the population who have been successfully evacuated. However, you are not out of the woods yet. While most entities are kept contained behind the emergency Swift. walls, recent events have prompted this televised broadcast. This okay. short PSA about Snatcher protocols will teach you how to A, keep you and your children safe from harm. Brilliant. B, properly identify and seal points of access within your home from outside threats. C, how to deal with potential threats. After this message okay. has concluded, destroy your I feel like maybe... Hang on, say that again. After this message has concluded, destroy your television. Okay, so they obviously use the television to do whatever they do. How to deal with potential threats. Attention, all buzzer, bu buzzer, buffer and non-buffer zones. Children must be kept inside their homes from 4pm to 7am until further notice. Or any okay, do not allow children under the age of 13 access to phones, televisions or any kind of communication device. I'm going to be honest, man. Except from the televisions part, I feel like people you should probably shouldn't have a phone until you know you're 30 over the age of 13 because you look at children now and i just feel like everyone's gonna have adhd like just artificial adhd you see all these apps that are just so quick and like you, you see these things on tiktok where a story's at the top and then subway serves at the bottom because apparently we're not capable enough of listening through a story that we have to just be completely engaged in subway surface for our brain to like comprehend what's happening at the top from the hours 4 p.m so and keep all doors and windows locked if your child's windows does not have a lock board the window from the hours 4 p.m to 7 a.m do not take your eyes off your children jeez oh oh okay there we go we need more my children what is that You must be my lesions. Okay. For you are many. Oh. For well, we are many. Isn't that like, um... Yeah, legion is like multiple... It's something in the Bible, I think. Uh, 4pm 7, do not allow anyone to talk to your children. My god. If someone you know attempts to speak with them during these hours... What? Then you're... S uh, then what? Kill the children. Then yourself. It will move on to the next house. This sucks. Something like you won't be able to go out anywhere, like for drinks or anything. You gotta just stay inside all the time from 4 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh god. Oh my god! What is it? If you see a man in a black suit talking to your children. It's already too late. Grab a weapon and lock yourself in a room. Your children will be with you shortly. They want what? Glitched visions. Well, that's a terrifying concept. Brilliant. Uh, there's more of these foundation files. I might have to check them out in honesty. I think I took this in the wrong order. 
That was awesome. I'm going to leave a like. I'm going to subscribe. This one was submitted by Bazaar on my Discord. And it's by Bazaar. It's Bonnie Voice Box Repair FNAF VHS. This creator deserves a lot more views than they're getting, for sure. Um, the animation's really good. The camera works really good. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Go like and subscribe. We're going to jump in. All right, so I got a call from my boss the other day saying that the Bonnie animatronic has been acting quite unusual lately. He specifically pointed out its voice box, stating how sometimes words would glitch out and repeat, and in some rare instances, conglomerate to force swear words, which oh, is no. quite peculiar. Uh, he said that this needs to be fixed as soon as possible, uh, as it has greatly impacted relationships with customers and I can has imagine forced them to be drunk. Having Bonnie telling you to fuck off. Away from the restaurant. All right, so I'd say the best way to start this off is by running a few simple voice tests to try and. Bro, I, I think he needs more than a voice test. Look at that face. This man has a face like he just smelt the eggiest fat Pinpoint ever. Exactly what's causing the problem and trying to find out if there's any pattern in these glitches. Right. Okay, starting voice test now. Hey there, kids! My name's Bonnie the Bonnie, and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's not a bad, uh, voice for Bonnie, I guess. Alright, so the glitches are very apparent here. Nothing too drastic. I want to hear him swear. All Can right, we hear Bonnie swear? One more. Fuck off, you grotty little wanker. <laughs> he turns proper English. Hey there! Are y'all all having a good old time? Because I sure am. <laughs> okay, okay. So the glitches are definitely appearing to be getting worse from what I can tell. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, this could be some kind of circuit board malfunction, which could have been caused due to some kind of liquid accidentally making its way into the animatronic. Yeah. But we won't know for sure until we actually get up close and assess the situation from there. Alright, so the circuit board definitely appears to be damaged. Wait a minute. Is that... blood? <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Boss, makes good! What the hell? I thought, I thought I stopped the test. Maybe, maybe I didn't, though. Blood dripping onto the circuit boards. What? But I did turn it off. What the hell managed to cause this damn thing to... Oh, Wait, wow. Where the fuck did it just go? <laughs> hey there, buddy! You shouldn't be wandering around after hours. Wow, the animation spot spot on. Looks like I'm gonna have to kill you. Wow. Bad behavior to the staff. Hey, hey, hey! Get get your damn hands off me! <laughs> <laughs> That's super good, man. Why does? Should have played by the rules. I'm sorry, I thought this was Bonnie's butt cheeks here. I was gonna say Bonnie is absolutely caked up, but this is his foot. <laughs> <laughs> Thought this was his ass, and this was like, uh, you know what? Stop it. I still want to hear Bonnie tell you to piss off. Well, that was really cool, man. Holy crap. Guys, go and like, subscribe to Bazaar. They, they deserve a lot more love. Okay, guys, last but not least, we have Family Photo Album Dreams of an Insomniac by Pastra. This was submitted to me on my Discord by KGFan745. Thank you for the submission. The Dreams of an Insomniac is about that freaking killer that comes out in, in Halloween and he wears that kind of furry costume, I think. I can't really remember the story before this. I might have to catch up on it. But let's read this description here. Looking through the collection of tapes once more, you find a set which seems out of place. They're kept in a separate box with the name Alex Williams, crudely written on it with what looks to be cheap black marker how cheap do you know a marker is cheap like it's faded looking inside you can see that all the tapes within are labeled as being part of a foundation archive curiosity gets the best of you once more and you put the first tape you find into your vcr put the, shall i put the captions on there's no captions the viewing of this tape is only meant for the eyes of all thought <laughs> foundation personnel unsolicited viewings may lead to termination dreams of an insomniac Somniac, somniac. Was there something to do with a police officer in the last one? Was a police officer killed or am I thinking of something else? Family photo album.
On the night of January 6th, 1987, we need this voice, hang on. On the night of January 6th, 1987, the ECPD had received a phone call from a distressed man reporting that something was trying to break into his home. Upon the dispatcher's arrival, he, as well as anyone else who may have been living in the house, were reported missing. The only evidence that could be found at the scene of the crime were a photo album, as well as a camcorder which seemingly contains footage of the events which transpired on that night. 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 Interesting. Here we go. This is it. Oh my god! Upon opening the photo album, detectives were baffled to find that all the photos within were horribly distorted. This made it incredibly difficult to identify the people depicted. Surely you just ask the, like, the neighbours. Like, who were these guys? Do you know these guys? January 6th, 1987. Search 6. Man. Is it all muffled? What's the volume at? It's... okay. Okay, so what what was this? What the hell? When detectives question neighboring residents about the identity of the family, okay, okay, they're, they're doing what I said. None were able to provide any useful information. One resident went as far as to say that no family has ever lived in that house. Oh dear. It was like they what? It was like they never existed. Interesting. I, I gotta say, I love it when it doesn't really snow much in the UK. Um, it didn't really snow this winter. I don't know, when does winter end? April? I, I forgot. But I love it when it's either just go turn in night or just the sun's rising and everything's kind of yellow like this. And like the, the snow reflects the sky. Oh, hello. Sammy, what are you doing? Sammy, get your hands off my ass! Actually, that's weird. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of a different type. It doesn't matter. I'm right here, Sammy. You're gonna have to help me, though, honey. I can't find you. I'm behind you. Is that is that the freaking the masked man? Oh God, what's happening to him? Ah! While the culprit behind these disappearances remains a mystery... Several photos in the album, as well as a 911 call made that night, suggest they may not be human. Well, don't, don't go out guys, just stay inside. <laughs> What is it? Is it a freaking is it a person with headlights on their on their face? Hmm. Maybe he wants a no. cup of tea. No, no, I, I didn't get looking. I'm telling you, it's a demon. It's a demon. Okay. So what, he just goes to reading? Is this... Oh. Why? Why do you keep using his face? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, okay, so he's using his son's face. Oh, God. Oh yeah, I remember now. I think I remember. This monster uses the face of people you know or something like that. 
um, and it knocks on your door or something. Good. Is he hypnotized? Nice. And now this is where the police come in. But the family never existed. So what does this, this person do? Like it wipes them off the face of the earth. That was probably the photo of the family album, right? Hey, Chief. I think I found something. You might want to look at this. The only clear photo of the perpetrator. Damn. Okay, family photo album created by Zachary Gignac and Lyra Horrors. Well, there we go, guys. That was more Pastra to be continued in volume one. Okay, so they're going to be putting a volume together. Very interesting. I look forward to that. Awesome. There we go, guys. That was interesting. So whatever this thing is, I'm confused. It's this thing here behind the, the poltergeist. This this thing is the actual, like, what it looks like. But it uses other people to, what, lure them in, maybe? And what, what happens once they lure them in? Because it seems like these were people before, but they get distorted and nobody remembers them which is super strange we'll see we'll see in a future video but there we go guys that was the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did why not leave a like rating down below and subscribe be sure to subscribe to everyone in the video they will be linked down below in the order that i watch them thank you for watching guys and i will see you in the next video take care guys